Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this section, I am going to explain about the process of balance carry forward in SAP. So generally this balance carry forward comes into the picture when we are when we need to carry forward the GL balances from one physical year to another physical year. Let's suppose uh, we are in December 2023. We have the balances in our GL accounts. So which we need these balances should be carry forward to other physical year so that we can access in that current uh, next physical year so uh, for this process we have to use the transaction code FAGLGVTR in SAP in SAP system in Fury we have a uh, general ledger jobs uh, with that uh, the help of that app we can uh, process schedule the background jobs for the FAGLGVTR so initially I will show you the I will show you the GUI as well as uh, Fury screen before going into that, uh, just I just want to make sure whether the configuration is already maintained or not. For to to pro, to run the FAGL GVTR, we need to do the some uh, configuration. We need to maintain the GL account retained GL account in OB fifty two transaction code. Let's uh, check uh, whether the GL account is maintained or not. Then we'll proceed for the execution. So I'm executing the transaction code OB fifty three here. So in my case, my chart of account is two thousand and just hit enter so here we can see i have already maintained the gl account now we are good to execute the fagl gvtr transaction so i'm accessing the transaction code fagl gvtr so this is the transaction code to carry forward the gl balances from one physical year to another physical year so here we can see uh, initially we have to give the ledger always a zero L would be the leading ledger and my company codes are 2000 and uh, 2001 and uh, I want to carry forward my 2023 balances to 2024 so I have to give here 2024 fiscal year so here uh, we have initially we I will execute in the test run with the aggregate balances and then i will uh, again i will execute in the detailed run i will explain you the differences between these two uh, let's execute this one now in test run so here we can see the results uh, yeah so i have executed it for two company codes one is a 2000 another one is 2001 so here we can see both company codes are there so what are the balances real balances are there uh, it's showing now i will go back and step back and then i will click on the, the i will use this one detailed option now we'll see the detailed breakup at gl level at uh, profit center level system will show the detailed breakup let's execute this one Now here we can see uh, system has uh, shown the balances. Now when I click on this, uh, when I expand this one, then system will show you the detailed breakup at profit center level. Uh, yeah, here we can see the profit center level system is showing the breakup. So for this GL account, uh, profit center is 8,000, this much balance for 5,000, this much balance likewise. So we can see so now i will show you how to execute the same program if balance carry forward through fury so i'm going uh, before that i will show you how to execute here in the fourth ground uh, in the back so whenever we are executing in the actual run system should only allow us to execute in the background only not fourth ground so i will first uh, one company code for 2000 company code i will execute in the uh, background in the actual run so here i have removed that test run so when i click on uh, execute system will not allow us to execute if we have the balances uh, more balances then system will not allow us to execute in the fourth ground we have to execute in the background only otherwise it will throw a dump so in my case we have only uh, 
limited balances so it's uh, showing uh, uh, it's not throwing any error so here we can see a display of balances for run 34 186 transaction so once again yeah so for company code 2000 uh, it has been run in the actual run so we can see here update run okay now i will show you how to execute the balance carry forward in through fury app uh, let me access the transaction code uh, hash and slash ui2 slash flp <clears throat> so the fury app name is uh, general ledger jobs so I will use the switch icon here. So just enter the Fury app name here, General Ledger Jobs, and click on switch icon here. So this is the Fury app, schedule general ledger jobs, just click on this tail, it will take to take you to the inside of this Fury app. Uh, it's taking some time to load. Just wait for two seconds. Now here, uh, with this option here, we have to click on create, create a job. And it will go inside like this. So here we have to select the template here. And then just click on this one and click on F4 here. And select the balance carry forward. Uh, likewise, we will be having multiple, uh, we can schedule the multiple background jobs with the help of this uh, uh, fury app we can see here foreign currency revaluation grr clearing and automatic clearing and balance carry forward and a financial statement version we can see many we have so now i am selecting this one balance carry forward this program so then click on step two here and here we have to mention that uh, start immediately or uh, we have uh, any time we need to select like that uh, I am recurring pattern I am selecting as a single as of now and start immediately and then click on step 3 and here we have to maintain the parameters like uh, ledger 0L and my company code 2000 is already executed so I am executing it for 2001 and the physical year would be 2024 so here we can see uh i have already executed for the company code 2000 now when i again re-execute it system will show the zero zero balances so now i will just i will just have a look here so here system is showing only zero zeros now i will go one step back here in the test run i will execute for 2001 company code in the test run in the actual run we I will execute in the fury so here we have the balances which needs to be carried forward to 2024 physical year so I'm going step back here now I'm going again back to my fury app so here I have maintained mentioned the 2020 2001 company code and of carry forward physical year is 2024 now here I'm executing the actual run so here uh, just click on check you can go ahead and uh, schedule the job you don't have any issues so click on just schedule so now the job is in process 
once it's finished it will uh, update the status here just wait for uh, two to three minutes now here we can see the job has been finished it's showing the log here the result here we can see the result here and the, all the details relating to this job we can see here created a duration and end and job entry name jump dot lab and job id job template name and everything uh, every details we can see here so now i am going uh, into the job log so i will go here i will expand this one so our scheduling parameters this and run details and the log and the result here we can see and uh, this is our parameters and job uh, log status here we can see so it's showing uh, all the success message showing and go and step back and click on this one process it and go and step almost step back here we can see the result just click on this page symbol so here just double click on this one go and step back and double click on this one so here we can see all the balances which has been carried forward to the next uh, physical year so here z so this is the process to carry forward the balances from one physical year to next physical year so thank you so much for watching my videos thank you